Mario Kart 8 Deluxe for Nintendo Switch is a souped-up version of the Wii U's Mario Kart 8. When I reviewed Mario Kart 8, I thought it was an amazing game, and awarded it a score of a 9.0. Here's what I said then. Mario Kart 8 is the best kart racing game Nintendo has made in a long time. It strikes a careful balance between refining old ideas while introducing fresh new ones. Admittedly, its gorgeous graphics and its jazzy orchestrated soundtrack bolster its presentation, but you're getting a lot more than just looks with this one. Although I spent an awful lot of time gawking at the details in slow motion, the fast and furious pace of racing with friends both locally and online is what really kept me coming back. Mario Kart 8 Deluxe includes all of that, plus all the previously released DLC, along with some new additions. That means you're getting 48 great courses and 42 diverse characters, including new ones like Bowser Jr. and the Inklings from Splatoon, and some neat kart parts. It looks great on Switch, too. The vibrant colors and clean graphics stand out whether you're playing handheld or on a TV. The frame rate still drops from 60 to 30 frames per second if you play on a single Switch with three or four players, but that's hardly a deal breaker when the racing is this good. If you already have the Wii U version, the real reason to pick up Mario Kart 8 Deluxe is the revamped battle mode. Nintendo added five smart, objective-based modes, and each one brings its own unique competitive angle to eight varied arenas. In Balloon Battle, you have to take advantage of items and smart positioning to score points by popping your rival's balloons. Shine Thief is a wacky, action-packed riff on Keep Away, but Bomb Blast is an explosive, over-the-top face-off. I wish I was more motivated to play Coin Runners, though. Gathering or swiping coins from others is okay, but not nearly as exciting. The biggest highlight is the suspenseful, fight-or-flight nature of Renegade Roundup. It's a round-based mode where a team of outlaws desperately tries to avoid a squad of piranha plant cops until the timer runs out. If a teammate is captured, you can free them with some skillful driving, but it comes at the risk of getting caught and losing the match if you're the last man standing. That sets up some tense, make-or-break moments that can be genuinely thrilling with the right team. You can play any of these modes against bots of varying intelligence, but the real fun is online. That said, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe's online suite is still a bare-bones experience. Some improvements are notable. For example, it's faster, and you can finally swap races or carts between races. But the Switch still feels like a hassle next to other systems because you still have to use outside means to communicate with friends. It's aggravating there's no way to invite players to join your matches, too. Considering this is the first major online multiplayer game for Switch, it's disappointing to see that so little was done to smooth out that experience. For everything Mario Kart, you are already in the right place at IGN.